I always liked sausage dogs, uh, yeah. So uh, I got mine five years ago from Australia. I didn't know about them, to be honest. I thought they were quite ugly, if I'm being honest. We met in 2017, so coming five years already. Right. Yeah, yeah, 17 is correct. Right. <laughs> and uh, the house was uh, done in 2020. I think really the designers were the ones who fleshed out all this long. Yeah, I think I think in general we like something more industrial, um, but we didn't like something that looked very warehouse-ish. So we just gave them that kind of brief and some pictures that we thought were quite nice. Then they brought it out to life. Lah. Um, my favourite place is the living room. So um, the reason why is because two of us drink quite a bit um, and we like to watch shows. So this is like the best place for us and at the same time we can also look at you know Juche in general the road which is transforming quite a bit. So it's just nice to like people watch, drink some good wine and watch some good shows <laughs> in general, yeah. I think it's uh, probably the bedroom uh, because it's uh, it's very private uh, when we go down. It sort of it goes downstairs, you're retreating into your private enclave and it's quite quiet. I saw the first talk that he bought, I like really fell in love with, with them in general, they're really cute. Um, so she's a female, the first dog, and then I bought a male, thinking that the male would love me more. But the male loves him more, so yeah, but overall they're really very, very cute. Yeah. For me, I would say 9 out of 10, if I have to give a number in terms of satisfaction. There are a couple of things I would change, which I'm not sure about Philip, but for myself, it's the theatre room. Uh, it's a good idea to have a karaoke system at home. Uh, but I think we are underutilizing it a little bit, la, to be honest. I agree, la, like there's a little bit of cannibalization from like the TV to the theatre sometimes. And sometimes it's like, just very easy to go inside. <laughs> you end up here all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me maybe the shower, maybe we wouldn't have done a shower in the guest area. Because so far I think can count with one hand how we put a shower in there. So maybe we just made it to a powder room instead. Might be more practical and more spacious for guests when they come here to use the toilet. Mm. Yeah. Like the process was actually very stressful. Like yeah. because, because the designers were engaged on the consultancy model, right? So sort of like the project manager was my dad and by extension me a little bit. Uh, so there were a lot of times that we had to come down to iron out things. Quite stressful. Yeah. I was very touched when it was done. Yeah, so I remember like the time when they finished the cement street, right? Then there was nothing. Then we, we sat there at the corner like admiring the house. Because <laughs> the cement street is the hardest part. Yeah, because like, it took a long time, the cement mm. street. Because they need to put multiple layers. And when they are doing the cement street, nothing else can happen. Because usually when you renovate, mm. like carpenters come in, electricians come in, like three, four things happening at one time. But when the cement street was happening, it was like the slowest and the most painful. Mm. Yeah. To be honest, it's hard to find something that's a favourite memory of this house because it's just a very nice feeling every time I step into the house with Philip and, and my dogs here, right? So it's really hard to pinpoint one favourite memory given that every time I step into this house, I feel actually very happy. Yeah, and because we don't do much stressful stuff here, so it's always a happy memory for me. 